Good morning and thank you for watching. Today we're going to be learning how to make Jigolin tincture. This is what the uh, Jigolin herb looks like. I've crushed it up into a fine powder. Jigolin is a very close cousin of uh, the ginseng family. I personally have found using Jigolin to be um, much more uh, easier on the body compared to ginseng. Also Jigolin is much more nutrient intense uh, than ginseng. So Jigolin goes a lot further and it's got a lot more nutrients. So before we begin, let's find out what we're going to need. We're going to need a jar to make the tincture. You need a measuring cup to measure the alcohol. You need the actual herb. You can use the powder or you can use the uh, standard herb itself, but I like to use the powder. You need alcohol. In this case, I've used 80 proof brandy. Make sure you use the strongest proof uh, alcohol possible. You could use vodka. Make sure it's about 100 proof uh, for best results. You need a measuring cup, tablespoon, and for labeling, I like to use duct tape and a pen. Because we're going to be using alcohol, reacting, um, we're going to be using alcohol with a metal lid. The alcohol will react with the metal lid, and it will cause um, the metal to fall into the tincture. So to avoid that, what I've done is I've got a plastic bag here and I've cut it up into squares. So when we do go ahead and seal up the tincture uh, bottle, uh, the metal won't react with the uh, alcohol. Mm. So let's begin. I'm going to start by adding two and a half tablespoons of jiggling herb. Next, we're going to go ahead and measure out two ounces of brandy. Now, this is 80 proof brandy, so it's as strong as you can get. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the jiggling herb. And I'm going to go ahead and seal it up. And what will happen is we will shake this up every single day for the next six weeks. And what's going to happen is the alcohol is going to dissolve into the herbs. It's going to extract all the nutrients. The next important part is to label. I like to use duct tape because it's strong. It protects the ink from the moisture. And it's easy to apply. Three important things. I'm going to need to put the date, the type of herb that we used, and the type of alcohol that we used. So I'll be putting July 5th, Jigolin, and Brandy. Now, after about six weeks, we're going to go ahead and drain this out, but we're going to filter it. And I like to use a standard coffee filter. And once it's all been filtered out, we're going to go ahead and put it into a bottle. And these dropper bottles are great because once the tincture is in here, it'll keep for years. <clears throat> so you can keep the tincture bottle in your bag, carry it around with you. But one very important thing about the tinctures is once they've been filtered out, that you keep them away from heat and light. By doing so, your tincture will last for years. As a matter of fact, when a tincture is properly stored, I've never heard of a tincture going bad. So. Um, tincture is really really good for long-term use and for getting the most out of a herb. For those of you that are wondering what uh, uh, Jiggle and Herb is good for, it's good for uh, neutralizing um, toxins in the body. Jiggle is extremely full of nutrients. For those of you that are familiar with ginseng and its power and its healing abilities, just remember Jiggle is so closely related to ginseng that it has the same uh, uh, meta medicinal effects. So use uh, Jiggle and Herb for whatever you would use ginseng for. So, uh, for example, if, if you feel tired or you want to um, increase the nutrients in your body, you want your body you know, to become stronger, you can also use Jiggle and for that. So I personally like to use Jiggle and by mixing it uh, in the tea with passion flower herb. Uh, passion flower is a very good way to induce deep sleep, but I found that when I add um, Jiggle and Herb to the passion flower tea, 
I'll add about four drops of passion flower tea, uh, sorry, four drops of jiggle and herb to passion flower tea, to one cup of passion flower tea, and it increases the um, strength of the passion flower tea. So that's one reason I use jiggle and herb for. So anyway, that's how you make a jiggle and tincture, and I wish you much luck and success in your tincture making projects. And thanks for watching, have a wonderful day.